Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited because we are going to be doing one of my favorite categories for drugstore versus high-end, and that is blush. We are going to be comparing the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion with the Milani Baked Powder Blush in One Dolce Pink. So I tried to pick two blushes that were pretty similar in color, and I think these were pretty spot on. They're both kind of that nice corally, pinky kind of thing, and they both have a little bit of shimmer to them, so I thought they were a really close match. So, as we all know, Hourglass is pretty up there in price, which is understandable. The quality of these products speak for themselves. I have not tried a bad product from Hourglass. It just blows me away every single time. So I am obviously going to be using this one as my high end. And then Milani has some of the best drugstore blushes that I have ever used. They're just such good quality. Yeah, these are the two I chose. Before we get into anything, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me, and please subscribe to my channel if makeup is your thing like it is mine. You're gonna love my channel, so make sure to subscribe. But stay tuned to see my comparison slash review of the Hourglass and Milani blushes. As you guys can see, I've already applied all of my other makeup minus highlighter because that's going to go on top. Again, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm putting on each side of my face. You guys know the deal by now. I like to do it this way just because I feel like it gives everybody a fair chance to choose what they think looks better or what they prefer on which side of my face without being biased already because I know price, brand, all that stuff kind of factors into what we choose. So we want this to be honest, no cheating. I'm not gonna tell you guys till the end, so stick with me until I actually reveal it. But let's just get right into it. I'm really, really excited about this one, so let's begin. I'm just taking my favorite blush brush from Morphe. It is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush. Put some on there and apply. I already love it. It's just giving me the most beautiful flushed look without being too much. Like, you know how blushes can just be in your face sometimes? Even when you just dab your brush a teensy weensy bit in there, it's just like, whoa. And this is not the case with either one of these. So I literally dipped into that pan a few times and it's just still giving me such a beautiful little flush nothing too crazy it's just so pretty oh my god i'm so obsessed a little more for the road come on you cannot tell me that does not look great it literally looks so beautiful it's the perfect shade of peachy pink and that little hint of sheen that it has is just so amazing love it. Alright, moving on to the other side. Let's see. What are we thinking so far? I can already tell the difference. I don't know if you guys can. This side is more kind of glowy than this side. This side definitely, it still has a glow to it, but it's a lot more of that kind of natural finish. This side, you can definitely tell that it highlighted my cheek area more than this side did. Not saying that one is better than the other. I really love both. One thing I will say, so just looking at my pores, on this side of my face, the blush accentuated my pores on my cheek just a little bit more. This side didn't really do that. Like it looks a lot more airbrushed on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, 
versus this side. So that is the other difference between the two that I noticed. But it's nothing that I would really cry about. It's not really going crazy on my pores over here. It still looks really beautiful. But the color, you guys, is so similar. You could barely tell the difference in color. They just both look so, so good. I'm so obsessed. We're gonna apply some liquid highlighter on top just because you guys know that is my favorite thing to do once I've finished everything on my face. I just wanna see how this blush kind of meshes with the liquid highlighter. I have to be honest, you guys, I feel like applying this liquid highlighter kind of did the same thing on both sides. Typically, once I apply the rest of my makeup on top of what I'm comparing, then I could really tell which one is actually the winner. But in this case, I feel like it did very, very similar things for my skin. I think now that I applied this, they both look really similar in terms of glow, obviously color because they were very very close in color to begin with but just everything it looks really similar like i feel like you couldn't tell that i was wearing two different blushes on my face if i didn't point it out to you and even then you might not even notice i just think the only thing that still kind of stuck around was the fact that this side is kind of settling into my pores a little bit more whereas this one is not really so that is the only major difference but other than that wow i'm absolutely obsessed these are two of my favorite blushes of all time i love blush so much i love all face makeup so much face makeup is just like my thing i'm just obsessed and these are some of the best blushes that I've used. These are the ones that I reach for most when I'm doing my makeup. So I was really happy to choose these for this. As far as both sides of my face go, they're extremely similar. If you guys can tell a difference between the sides of my face, comment and let me know that. But I think it's time for the reveal to tell you guys which side is which. I hope you guys didn't cheat because now I'm gonna give you five seconds to tell me which is which. So I'm gonna hold them up as usual, Hourglass and Milani. I'm gonna give you five seconds, take a good look at my cheeks and go. One, two, three, four, five. Also, I'm just counting for dramatic effect. I know it takes more than five seconds to comment what you think it is. So yeah, anyways, the right side of my face was Hourglass and the left side of my face was Milani. Congrats if you guessed right. But what do you guys think? Which side did you like better? So for me personally, it was such a hard decision because I literally cannot stress enough how similar these two are. Actually, before I get into anything else, let me swatch these so that I can show you what they look like next to each other. You can barely even see the difference. So this is the Hourglass and this is the Milani. You can definitely tell that there's a difference between the two when you swatch them. The Hourglass is a lot, it seems like it's a lot lighter, like a lighter shade of pink and it's definitely not as shimmery. So the Milani, when you swatch it, it's more of that kind of vibrant coral color, even though it doesn't really look like that on the swatch, but it also has these little shimmery flecks in it too. So the swatches are totally different, but you guys know how I feel about swatches. It's all about how it performs on the face to me, and you can just see how similar they are when you do apply them to the face. So the Milani side, when you put it on, it doesn't look shimmery. It just looks very like the sun is hitting you, like you're glowing from within. It doesn't look like it has those shimmers inside it. And then the opposite goes for the hourglass. It does have a more natural finish to it, but it still gives me that kind of glow to my face, like that healthy glow. And it looks more vibrant on the skin when you apply it actually to your cheek rather than doing a swatch. So swatches are deceiving. I literally can't say that enough to you guys. As I was saying, I think I like 
the hourglass side just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. But wait, it is literally only because I felt like the Milani side settled into my pores a little bit more than the hourglass side did. Obviously, none of us want our pores showing or being accentuated in any way. So that is the only reason that if I was choosing between the two on a day I'm doing my makeup, I'd probably go for the hourglass. I honestly switch it up though, depending on how I'm feeling. And I honestly feel like this is definitely a dupe for this. They're so, I can't stress enough, similar that you could get away with buying this for the low, low price that it is. And it'll do something very similar for you that this would. Honestly though, I love Hourglass, so I don't regret spending the money on this whatsoever. I'd probably purchase this a million more times if I could. But this is also an amazing everyday blush. I feel like this is kind of the more special occasion version, so I don't want to waste it. It's pretty expensive. And this is the drugstore version that you could literally wear every single day. They both last a very long time. You can't go wrong either way. So. I'm excited to say that we have another dupe. If you're looking for a blush that's similar to Dim Infusion, then definitely go for the Milani. But that's all I've got for you guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it was nice to find another dupe for a more high-end product. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to, like I said before, give this a huge thumbs up for me if you love blush just as much as I do. Make sure to comment. If you haven't already, comment and let me know which one you guys preferred, which one you thought looked better on my face, or if you didn't even notice the difference. Share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out. I post three times a week. That's a lot of makeup and tanning. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.